Hi, it's me again with Corrilled Oil Tips and Tricks, and I made this video earlier today on how to make this cake topper, and I mentioned in there, and then somebody called me on it, that I didn't show how to change the line when you're making something like this to a inch line instead of a point. So if we make it four points, what is that in measurement? Well, and he even stated, he said, I've got my unit set on inches, but that's not setting this on inches. So to set this on inches, you need to, with nothing selected as the key, double click on your pen tool, it'll come up with this graphic and change it right here from point to inches. Then you can say, okay. And then when we draw a line, and let's, let's draw a line that we know that's, uh, we need it like five inches long. But you can see it's only 0.38 because it's hairline. So we're going to make it now a quarter inch line. So now we have a quarter inch line. We know that. And, and see, it doesn't measure, even though it is, it doesn't measure that because it's, it's only measuring the line that's on the inside until we go to object, convert the outline to an object. Now it's, for some reason, it's 0.2 eight, seven, for some reason, 0.25, we can change that. And and you could have done that probably with the other part. Um, let's take the left click, right click. Now you have a quarter inch line. Let's just go back and think about that theory. Let's with nothing selected, let's double click on the pen tool, put it back to points, and then let's draw a line and make it, let's make it eight points. And see, it's actually, there's no measurement here until we go to object, convert it to an outline, and now we got 0.11. So you can make it 0.25. So you can make that line a 0.25 without even changing it to point. I like drawing in points, uh, especially when you're doing text and stuff. So this is a quarter inch line, it's five inches long. We can make it five inches exactly. And this is what's gonna tell you how thick this is when you make the acrylic. Much like the rectangle, we're gonna do, and then if you didn't watch the first video, we rotated it 45 degrees, we squeezed it in, and then I'm gonna make it, um, you know, like 0 0.8 point, and then go to object, convert it to an outline, and you can't change it here because it's not, you know, the measurement. So there, there's a good point. You can't change this to a quarter inch. Um, you can get pretty close. So you really need to do this. And, um, you know, that's a good point. So you can change a line a quarter inch thick, but this measurement, you can't change. You know, you can't make that a quarter inch thick. So you need to draw when you're drawing. So let's go back with nothing selected. Let's go to graphic and we'll go to inches. So this is, a, I'm glad I did this. And then draw your rectangle, your square, rotate it 45 degrees, make it a quarter inch line and then go to object convert the outline to an object, and then left click, right click. So now you have a quarter inch line. Now when you do that, you probably squeezed it and made it less than a quarter inch. So you would need to do, um, before you do that, you would need to squeeze. You know, if you were gonna make this cape topper, you would need to squeeze, squeeze it first and get that diamond shape, and then go to a quarter inch. And what that's basically doing is just making a quarter inch thick, convert it to an outline, and I'll left click, right click, and then you've got a quarter inch line and we can kind of prove that. Even though there's no way to measure it up here, we can use the parallel dimension tool and go, you know, as long as you go perpendicular, if you look, we're 0.25 inches thick line. And that's pretty important when you're working with wood or acrylic to make sure it's not gonna bend or break. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.